two triangles will give you all of this information. Now, this voltage, I have, I told you before, we we're working with four pieces of information. Power, which is measured in watts, current, which is measured in amps, resistance, which is measured in ohms, and volts, which is volts. So we really have four pieces of information we're manipulating. Now, if I have two of any of these, I can get the other two. I need a minimum of two, and it doesn't matter which ones. So if you look here, volts, if I only have power and resistance, I can get voltage. So I take and I multiply power times resistance, but then I square it. And that will give me my volts. Now, you can do the same thing with these triangles. If I have power and resistance, I can go up here. Uh, let's see. Is it going to prove me wrong? Power, volts. Okay, maybe I'll go to triangle. I think I do. Then probably pick the worst example. What I was really expecting that I was really expecting to be able to get one of those values on one chart and then come over to the other chart with that value and get the the, the fourth one. But that throws me off. It seems like the problem is the power wheel's got four variables and the triangle only has three. So how do you get the... Yeah, but I have volts, power, current, and resistance. I have all four between them. But on two triangles. Yeah, so let me see if this one will work. Power, volts with power and current. Uh, let's try... Let's see if we can get resistance. See... Right here for resistance, I've got volts and current. I've got volts and current. Let me do one with power. Here's current for power divided by, by volts. That one is a given. When I, what I was trying to get it, and I've done this before, is if I need resistance and I don't have enough, if I'm missing volts or current, I can have power and current and get volts. And now and once I get volts, I have all three. This was the example I was really trying to meet. If I have power if I need resistance but I only have power and current, I don't have power over here. So I can use my power and current to get volts. Now I have power, current and volts. I have three pieces of information. Now I can come over to this chart and now I have volts. So I just divide that volt by my current, and that'll give me resistance. And I really thought that I could get all of them with those, those two triangles, but apparently not. I'll have to give that some more thought, but I'd, I'd be willing to bet that 90%, 90, 97.5% of the time you're going to get the information you need from these two triangles. So. Just to go through this chart so it's not a total mystery. To get power, I can do volts times current. I can take, if I have current resistance, I can square my current and multiply it times my resistance to get power. If I only have voltage and resistance, I can square my voltage and divide by resistance. That's what that one is. Volts divided by current to get resistance. Volts squared divide power will give me resistance. Um, Power divided by current squared will give, also give me resistance. And I think that pretty much here is power divided by resistance, and then that answer is squared will give me voltage. So, what situation would you want to use uh, power times resistance for? Like, okay, so the point. What this is is you're going to have we we have four pieces of information: the power, current, resistance, and voltage. And there's going to be times, in fact, almost every time where I'm only going to give you two of those. And if I give you, if I have power and current, I can figure voltage here. If I have, I can't figure, well, that's current. Um, I can't, 
think about it. Yeah, if I have power, I have power. So the point is, any two of those, whatever I have, if I only have uh, current and voltage, I can get resistance. Um, I understand, sir. What my question is is like, what would you have voltage squared divided by power to get resistance? Like, on the left, right there. Like, what would you if have if I asked you to give me a resistance, but the only information you had was okay, the volts. volts and the power. And if I wrote it on the board, okay, I know how many volts there is, and I know how much power this is, but I don't know how much resistance. Mm -hmm. um, you can you can get resistance from those two values. Versus your triangle, you can't. Yeah, and, and I, I really thought I could do most of those through the triangle. Maybe uh, maybe I need to look at another triangle. <laughs> I may be missing something. Okay, so it is 7.24. This class officially ends at 7.50. And 8 o'clock is the next class. So you have 36 minutes until le uh, lab. Um, most of you should be done with lab. It would be nice to get started on the next one. Even though I was only asking that the first lab be come, you know, be due at the end of t uh, today, I think I, you know, like I said, I was rearranging the whole schedule, and I can't imagine. I can only assume it's not always going to be perfect. But I would really like to get started on lab two today and turn it in by uh, probably Monday evening. Two periods. I'd like to do. I'd like to do one lab every two periods. No, there's no Monday class. July like 4th, Tuesday. right? Tuesday, my Monday. July 4th, are we going to? No, we will not be here. You can show up if you want. Uh, <laughs> I'll be probably missing an action. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay.